We are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Meet Fluffy. Or should I say, not my Fluffy. Because you're not my little Fluffy, are you? You're a naughty pup. Fluffy is not our dog. Obviously, it's not Holly. We haven't replaced Holly. Fluffy lives up at road level in Monte Petuso and loves to escape from her house. Every time somebody opens the gate, Fluffy's out. And then she runs around, she takes people for walks, she plays all over the place, and if she finds me, she follows me down to the house, don't you? In the last few days, Fluffy has learnt how to get in through the gate and now can just come in whenever she feels like it. And this morning, around about five o'clock in the morning, Fluffy, who is still here after last night following me down, learnt to use the cat flap too. And now we can't get rid of her. <laughs> I've been sending her owner regular updates of where she is, what she's up to and what she's doing. Um, her owner is absolutely mortified. <laughs> but we can't get rid of her. Every time I throw her out, she just climbs back in through the gate. You are a naughty little puppy, aren't you? You're a naughty little puppy. So I'm going out in about 10 minutes and Fluffy is going to come with me, whether I have to put her on a lead or not. I'm going to try and take her home. <laughs> You're a naughty little thing. You are funny though. All right, come on, everybody out. Let's go. I was worried that Fluffy wasn't going to come with me, but I think because Holly's here as well, she seems to be quite happy. Let's go for walkies. Come on. We're having a little doggy party here today. What are you all doing roaming around free? Come on, doggies! <laughs> I feel like the Pied Piper. Everywhere I go, I just collect more and more animals. No, you, you two are not supposed to be coming with me. Where's Fluffy? Fluffy! <laughs> Fluffy! Big Quilla Okay, Fluffy has gone home and now I'm going out with Holly. We're going to visit Paulina and Hubert, our friends who are here for the whole summer. I'm gonna go and see the apartment they've rented and have lunch with them. And for those of you that have ever wondered how Holly travels on the scooter, this is how she stands there or sits. And then I put my legs, one here and one the other side so she can't fall out, perfectly safe. Thank you. Let me just show you the view from their lovely balcony. We're off to the left hand side of Positano here, so we've got the view over um, Arienzo area, the Villa Treville down there. And we're looking down on a whole load of lemon groves, which are beautiful in the winter and just leafy greenness. And actually we are right above the back of the cemetery. Can't see from here. One of the reasons that I came here today is because Paulina has quite a good makeup collection because she is an Instagram influencer and she is specializing in fashion and beauty. So she wanted to show me some of the makeup and I was very interested in the Trini makeup collection. Anybody from the UK will know exactly who Trini is. She was a TV presenter and she did a what to wear and what not to wear type show. She has her own channel on YouTube now and in the last couple of years she's brought out this fantastic makeup brand, Trini London. Do you think I don't think so. So I wanted to have a look at these just because the nice thing about these is that they all come in these tiny little pots and then once you put the lids on, all the pots click together and then you can just shove them in your bag and take them with you and I love that. Also, the brushes do the same thing. 
they all click together. <laughs> the eyeshadow, a lip brush, and an eyeliner brush. But I think that's really cool, they're magnetic. And um, there's all sorts, so there's um, eyeshadow in a pot, and it looks really lovely, really creamy and shimmery and some lip gloss, I know that looks really pink, but actually it's not, it's just like a hint of pink. Could be just right. So I'm really excited to try these. I don't know how to do it yet. I don't know, come <laughs> Chef Hubert is preparing homemade Fresh pasta. pasta. <laughs> I wonder who he has learned from. <laughs> <laughs> this is pasta uh, rubbish. Rubbish technique, no? Perché rubbish? Stai facendo la pasta all'uovo. Questi si fanno pasta all'uovo si fa delle tagliatelle? No, this will be scialatelli. Scialatelli, va bene, ma ma la pasta all'uovo is for tagliatelle. Ok. Bolognese tagliatelle. Ok. We also have smoked mozzarella and fresh mozzarella. Some prosciutto and tomatoes. Mm. Up to now, I'm not really interested in cooking. <laughs> so when yeah. do you start? I'm more interested to eat. Okay. <laughs> Carla came back from work. Now it's time to try Hibbert's pasta. Yeah. <laughs> so today we are making... It's <laughs> it? Say that again! Fresh pasta. <laughs> All different types. Nice shelly at the end. Melody. Shall I be? Yeah, you put it. What's the name of this? You don't even know. Yeah, I don't 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 know. Ok, adesso vediamo anche Paulino. Ah, Paulino è smetto in camera, te dico. Paulino usa un'altra tecnica. <laughs> What uh, sauce you do? Simple tomato sauce. Onion, garlic, tomatoes. Oh, onion and uh, garlic together. Yes. No. Giro, eh. Carlo, you don't need garlic? Yeah, yeah I, I like. Onion. onion, I like. But not together normally. No? Why not? Yeah, it's not the law. Ecco, qua i di Uber. So Hubert is a photographer here in Positano. For the summer, he does that? couples oh, yeah, photo yeah, shoots, yeah. Instagram photo shoots, and holiday photo shoots, anything like that. So my stories the other day, oh, okay. I paparazzied him from way across the other side of I town. I <laughs> spotted him doing a photo shoot with a couple and filmed him for a second. On the, on the table. And he's just going through all his lovely new lenses with Carlo. To be Asha. Eh certo che mi piace, ma non comprerei mai una macchina così perché non la so usare. It's not for me because I, I don't say. Oh, well, you can learn it, it will be easier. Yeah. And learning with, the, with the, this camera. This, this is your next one? No. <laughs> sure. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know about the Holly Diaries. Now, the Holly Diaries are little paintings of Holly off on adventures around the world and they are painted by a lovely man called John from Canada who we met about three years ago by chance in Montepertuso and he'd been following me for a while and he started sending me the Holly Diaries. He writes up Holly's adventure and he does beautiful little paintings to go with them. In the last year he started sending us a few of them and we are building up quite a collection. Ah, è per me, c'è il mio nome qua. Yeah, so wow. <laughs> Sono curioso. And I'm curious as well because it actually says t-shirt on the package. So I'm very curious, but I, I'm sure there's some little paintings in there too. There is a t-shirt in there. Sì, facciamolo vedere. È una t-shirt. Adesso la apriamo però. Oh wow. Questa è la maglietta. <laughs> no 
Cinichi. Che bello! <ride> ah, io lo posso mettere questo. Oh, dear. Here we go. So we've got the Holly Diaries. Hey all, it's me, Holly Megastar. And now, fashionista, introducing the Naughty Nicky t-shirt. Depending on how naughty you think mum is, you have the choice of colours. Except Lily White is not available, obviously. Oh. oh, non so se si vede bene, ma che I hadn't carino! Seen that one. He hadn't sent that one to me on Instagram. That's che bello! Hilarious. I now have to go and show you all the other ones in the, in the bathroom. <laughs> bello, questo è molto bello. Questo è un po' bello. Occhiali di sole. Ok. And the sunglasses. <laughs> ah, ma io la devo provare subito questa maglietta. Non dobbiamo aspettare per niente. Thank you, John. <laughs> wow. Wow. Come on, mister. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know if I can let you out wearing that. <laughs> so this is my bathroom wall. And this is what John has already sent us. They are beautiful. This is one of my favorites. This was on Capri. He basically paints my photos that I put on Instagram and then sometimes adds Holly, like for instance that one, because Holly was definitely not on that rock with me. This one's lovely, with the uh, pizza oven guide in the background. This was from the photo shoot I did with Ivan Mastro. This was one of the donkey deliveries with a little bitty bitty kitty and Lily. And there's a beautiful one of Lily there. I love this one too, me and Holly on the kayak. Another one of Holly on the kayak. And this one is beautiful. He's really captured her face in this. This is walking home from the cemetery. And Holly on the beach. So John, if you're watching this, I'm not actually sure whether you watch my videos. Thank you very much. We love all of these little paintings. Carl is very happy with his t-shirt. He's still wearing it. If you want to see more of the Holly Diaries, be sure to follow me on Instagram because John regularly sends me new updates. In fact, Holly has just come back from the Olympics. <laughs> what can I say? Thank you, John. I am in Sorrento this morning and I have a wedding here at the Hotel Belvoir Serena, which is absolutely beautiful. Let's go and start work. Everything looks blue. I'm here fairly early. I'm actually an hour earlier than I need be, but I like to get here in time so that I can take a few photos, sit and relax for a bit, get stuck in traffic if need be. There was no traffic today because I'm quite early. I managed to get a good parking space, which is another bonus. And now I get a bit of time to sit and relax. And there's quite a few coffee table books here. So I'm going to sit and read Eternal Capri. photo taken from right in the deep depths of the Blue Grotto. It's pitch black back there. I've always been far too scared to go back there, but what a great photo. While I was waiting, I've just spotted these high stools. Now these would be perfect. I used to have a foldable high stool that I would carry around with me when I was doing big makeup jobs. And two years ago, I must have left it in some hotel or villa because I have no idea where it is. 
Last year I didn't work, so I didn't use it, didn't think about it. And now this year, today, obviously this is the first big wedding that I'm doing. I've got about eight people to make up today. And I would really need one of these. So I'm gonna go and ask if one of these can be brought up to the room that we're working in. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, my back is gonna kill me. I'll be, I'll be coming out the wedding like this if I can't use one of these. Right, I'm gonna find somebody to ask. Ask and you shall receive. I just asked in reception if I could take one of those chairs up with me and they said they'll bring one up for me. Brilliant, my back is saved. It's just gone six and I'm done. I've been here for eight hours, 10 in the morning till six. It's been a long day and I am hungry. And I think Sky has ordered sushi tonight. So that is what we were gonna be doing next. Home for sushi. And they're off. Ho delle brutte notizie da darvi oggi. Una delle galline ci ha lasciato, ha deciso di andare, non so dove è andata, ma comunque non è più con noi. E niente, quindi purtroppo ci ha lasciato Tilly? Sì. Vero Tilly? Sì. Ok. Tilly ci ha lasciato. Adesso sono rimaste? Polly e Molly. Polly e Molly. E adesso, adesso facciamo il funerale? Sì, vado, vado a fare un piccolo buco per sistemarlo. Almeno dal punto di vista pratico no, non è un problema per me. Mm. Stanno arrivando per il funerale. I thought you'd gone to bed. Hey Polly, you want to cuddle? Vieni qua. Vieni qua. Are you sad? Come sei veloce a scavare i buchi? <laughs> Sono esperto. <laughs> Poor Pucci. Oh, you're so jealous. So, eri solo una gallina, però ci mancherai. <laughs> oh, little chicky. 
Magari potrebbe sembrare stupido che uno è dispiaciuto per, uh, perché è morta una gallina, ma alla fine un cane che cos'è? Anche un cane è un animale, voglio dire. Sappiamo che ci sono gente, che, persone che hanno perso il cane e sono stati molto tristi come se avessero perso quasi un figlio. Quindi voglio dire, dipende dall'interazione che c'è con quell'animale. Mm. Noi volevamo bene le nostre galline. Sì, le accalacciavamo, le prendevamo in braccio, ci facevamo fare un giro. Facevamo fare un giro? Sì, Vabbè. In braccio, dico. In braccio, no, le nel giardino. We didn't take them to the beach with us or anything. No, no, non abbiamo portato, <ride> mi spiace questo nuovo. No, vabbè, è una cosa triste comunque, voglio dire. Where is the chicken going? It's, it's sad. Vieni qua, vieni. Vieni qua. Allì, come sei gelosa? Posso tenere un po' la gallina in braccio? Ma che devi tenere sempre tu? Come sono curioso da toccare queste cose. <ride> sei una strada. Vuoi andare a dormire? Vai a dormire, dai. Vai da sola. Vai a dormire? No, no, a dormire. Vai. Bet. Bet. Vai, dormi, forza, vai, vai. Eh? Niente, non vuole andare a dormire, sta cercando la sua amica, ecco cosa sta facendo. Ok, adesso basta. Vai, vai. this dress that I'm wearing, which is the same as the mustard-coloured one that I was wearing when we made pasta with Hubert and Paulina earlier on in this video. And it is a maternity dress, <laughs> so it's a mustard-coloured one. I had a friend in Sydney, Australia, Andrea, and she designed these dresses so that they could be made during Christmas pregnancy and afterwards as well. And I am not pregnant, I am not planning on getting pregnant, but she sent a few dresses over to my friend Jackie, the photographer, recently for a photo shoot, and she didn't want them back afterwards, so Jackie very kindly gave me two. And I have been living in them, they're so comfortable. But today, I have a friend coming to meet me here for breakfast who is heavily pregnant. Right, let's go and see if Ivan has got something he can lend me, either from the shop or from his own room wardrobe upstairs, pair of shorts and t-shirts, absolutely fine by me. So I'm now in the Ivan Mastro shop, Casa Mastro, with our friend Ivan, and the lovely Victoria is here. Ciao! And I'm going to give her my dress, because <laughs> she needs it more than I do. <laughs> and the trouble is, I forgot to bring something to change into, so we've come to Ivan, who is choosing something for me to wear, and he's going to lend me something, which I will then bring back tomorrow. Right and on. we're all going to have a big changeover of clothes now. So you can see what this dress looks like on somebody who's really pregnant. And you can see it just looks like a normal dress. And it's absolutely lovely. I really love it. It's got a slit up the side. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the yellow one is exactly the same, the one that I was wearing earlier on in this video. Now we're going to see what it looks like on Victoria. And she's going to go home with it. <laughs> Yay! Brilliant! It's perfetto, no? Right, it's yours for the next few months. You Yay! Can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I will bring it back tomorrow, <laughs> but I can't go home in my underwear, so this is perfect. Lovely and light linen. I love these trousers. I think I won't bring them back tomorrow. <laughs> these dresses and many more outfits are available on Angel Maternity, based in Sydney, so it's an Australian brand. They are also available in the US at Macy's and Nordstrom's. And these are by Casa Mastro, available here in Positano and on their online shop. I will leave the link in the description box below for both of them. I'm 
back home, I've been very, very careful to walk very slowly and try not to sweat so the clothes don't get dirty. I might give them a wash anyway and take them back to Ivan tomorrow, although I am loving these trousers. Anyhow, if you got to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next week. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and have a great week. Bye.